Hi, welcome to Kachayu with Lucky. I am your host, Lucky Mbabazi. Oh, yes. And today's conversation is going to be on the complaints that we have had from you, especially through our mails. Uh, lots of women complaining that there are certain things that men do that really turn them off but then also the men are turned off by some of the things that we do and you end up having what you would call a boring sex life. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with me is Brian Samanda who is a sex therapist <laughs> already and mm -hmm. Madame Ashley Movido, Mrs. Thank you. Uh, I think Brian, you should just chip in. Since you're the expert here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you what see, are some of the things we women do that perhaps turn off men? You see, turn offs, uh, sometimes we talk about turn offs and we forget that the, right. pers maybe the person being turned off is also, also easily turned off. I mean, it's picky. For example, I, mm. I personally am very picky when someone doesn't, every time I look at someone's teeth, they have something, it's like, don't look at them. Like, ah, I yeah, can like, pick it. Yeah. But I think there's, there's some serious matters now. We talk about depth now. Mm -hmm. uh, people come with different things, turns off and here and there. And then someone's actually being picky. People have OCD. Now, if you have OCD, it's a different class of... That's on the extreme. On the extreme. Mm, yeah. But yes. then there are these normals. For example, women, they have these unsaid communications. Like, you expect us to be angels. To figure you out everything. Like, like things you say. Okay. All right. Fine. You see, men, like we said earlier before in our conversations, that men are not vocal. So when you speak, when you expect me to know things you've not said to me, it's a turn off. Sometimes I'm like, really? Can't you just be grown and tell uh, me? Yeah, you know, uh -huh. speak out, speak right. out something. And then men, men also get to a place where they're like, I'll wait until she says it. Like you are being, no <laughs> you're being a big-headed person just because you want someone to mention. Mm -hmm. So women, those things you don't speak, yet you want to communicate. They're right. Very, they're, they're eternal for so many men. People have left good relationships because uh -huh. of such, such, you know, small things. But they're not small to the person saying or receiving it. So me, when you you want me to figure you out always, mm -hmm. it's a problem to most men actually. As, actually, it's not only a problem to yeah. men, I think we also yeah. have that problem. Exactly. Yes. We have the same, I think Ashlyn can also testify to uh -huh. this. There's men who also expect you to read them. Oh, really? They will, oh, they will uh, not say anything. And, and you know, for us women, we are very good at just letting you be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you can't speak out, if you can't tell us or tell me mm -hmm. that, hey, by the way, what you're doing is not right. You right. don't want me to do certain things on you, mm -hmm. but you're letting me do it because, because you... you feel like maybe that is what she wants to do. <laughs> but it's not what is making you excited. Mm -hmm. okay. Talking about it is something that maybe if you told me, then maybe I would change, I would know, you know, he does not like being given a small bite on the ear. He does not like, <laughs> you know, being, you know, it's, it's yeah, not like that. Yeah, but know. when you keep quiet and you think it's a rabbit trying to nibble your ear, hey. I mean, at the end of it all, I get turned off when I see no reaction. Our biggest problem that. is uh, if you talk about emotional intelligence, for example, and, right. then, and then these character issues. If a turn off is a character trait, then there's a problem. But if it's just, just emotional intelligence, someone is trying to take you for a ride mm -hmm. so that you can mm. be, I mean, reciprocate what uh -huh. they're communicating, it's a different story. Because it's very hard. You're trying to communicate with this person who's a grown up. Like, I never really understood why we should be having communication issues. We are both adults. If you have something that is really getting to you, why don't you tell me that, Omani? I am not in the mood today. Could you give me some space? That is just than clear, just... mature. Way of, way of doing things but then let's without even going to emotional how about physical physical appearances i have a, a friend of mine who said let me tell you something when i go back home my wife has this chitambala <laughs> <laughs> on the head <laughs> on the head that she ties the moment she enters the house she removes her very good nice clothes she brings her mother's a stocking dress, and then a stocking <laughs> that, that thing Hands of men. You know, you know uh, the problem with you men. You look at us, uh -huh. and then you're like, look at how she's dressed. Uh -huh. You're not coming to tell me that, uh -huh. hey, listen, that T-shirt, really? And then you're going out and like, now you've changed. Mm. In my head, I'll also say, okay, that is not something he likes. Uh -huh. I'll, I will start working on. But you men, you never speak. You speak to your friends. You like, speak to your child. friends. Like, uh, my my <laughs> child. Uh, but, ah, mine works. Uh, mine is always in t-shirts and that she's talking on her head. Tell me because if we are friends, 
you're you supposed to compliment me, you're supposed to correct me. The same thing we shall do with you. But let me tell you something, you also act like grown people and realistic in life. You're going to expect me, when I'm at home, I'm more relaxed. I'm more relaxed. You're my man. Yes. If I talk off my clothes at night, uh, you're going to see every, every, every floor. Now should I walk around without a bra just because I don't, uh, uh, I'm going out, let me walk without a bra so that people see me in uh -huh. my authentic uh -huh. self. self. <laughs> you know? I, I even I wonder know. why women What's sit that? in a relationship where they cannot talk. Okay. Why men sit in a relationship where they feel it is terrible. It is something mm -hmm. very simple. And you know what? what all that is encompassed in ego. Just trying to feel, and, and, and the same thing that, that turns us off. Like, I tell you something, and you're thinking, she can't think. She can't think, she's she, a woman. Yeah, yeah, she's a woman, yeah. that's not her area. So, so. I'll tell you a story. There's a guy, a friend guy, who told us a story. He, um, he was with a girl. He took this girl home for the very first time. And I think the woman thought what the singers or whatever she had learnt there is what this man wanted. Munayenga, they start, they start. She said, Banani, the girl started saying things. Oh, the other side. Your daddy, give. That alone turned him off completely. Why am I saying this? It's very important to know the type of person you're with. People are different. Yeah, Just because Brian is a man and they've told you that men love it when you scream, it doesn't mean when you say a lot of things, you're going to, like I said, I couldn't concentrate anymore. <laughs> but, but there's <laughs> something, there's, 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 there's something about uh, this whole screaming. Uh huh. Because one thing I have noticed about this screaming and this whole mentioning all worlds around the man, uh -huh. either, you know, it comes naturally. But uh -huh. this thing of, of women, even when it is not necessary. And, 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 and you're doing that and you're actually getting hurt. The man is actually not doing the right thing. Uh -huh. But you're there screaming. Here is what turns, turns off a woman, at least for me. You put food in the soap or soup. Soup or is soup. That spilling it starts spilling over. And it's just a mountain and you're walking, coming towards coming me. Coming towards And you're my man, but I don't want to hide. <laughs> I, I actually would get a tray for you and say, you know, a tray. You no, but must you one. eat like that? Because you're not no. even going to finish you're it. You're not going to finish it. it. Why would you order for something that you want? Okay. I know. But one other thing that turns us off, mm. this whole... I, I'm thinking for women, mm. if, if, if I had a man who had a lot of pubic hair... <laughs> ah, pubic, pubic hair where? 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 <laughs> there. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Like, you even have to start looking for the places. Yeah, for, yeah. For the whole thing, mm, for mm. whatever it is. Because one thing that you should know that it, while in that process, you don't know that hair can actually go inside. It does, skin. actually. It, it does. And, yeah. and, 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 and it can affect our wombs or our whatever down there. You can there. get infections. So it, from it becomes it, yes. so unhygienic mm. for a man. And it, it, it actually just turns us off. Mm. There's people who that. say that. You, mm. you need to clean yourself up. You need to organize yourself because at the end of the day, we are going to do a lot of things together. You see, you see uh, one thing I've also learned about that side, a lot of men don't like it when you shave everything off completely. I'm like with a baby. And then mm. there's a guy who said, man, I look at her and it's like a frog. I just don't want to. <laughs> 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 but wait, it's yes. confusing. That's why I said. Yes, you have to know the person you're dealing us. with. Know a person. There's exactly. men who like Brazil. Brazil. Brazilian. Brazilian. Clean. Give me an example. There's a guy who came to hospital. I was giving birth. He was also his his wife was giving birth. Mm. And while we were busy having our moments of eh, mm. so and all that, and they say they, they mentioned because this guy was 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 Sudanese. Mm. And entered inside, and then they were the, the nurses were saying, "Bring, bring a, a, a scissors. Mm, mm, we we reduce." This the man said, "Don't touch." touch. <laughs> so it, I, I didn't know what he wants because his it, hair. because this is another room. <laughs> I, then later I asked, "What was that man saying about don't touch?" That hey, there are don't. men who love that place, bushy. Uh -huh. Here one, but but, but I'll clean I'll clean you with it. 
Because you see, the things that is the how clean are you with it? There are people who, you know, that place sweats a lot more. It does. Like if it, it sweats a lot, and then you have there's this friend of mine who came from Brian. The other guy doesn't want like to this. shave it, and then it gets white growth yeah. around and it. And you find there are the ones who want a winner. Oh, exactly. But how are you going to go a winner? <laughs> so so the thing is, like that. no, uh, forcing people to do things for mm. you when you're not giving them comfort, it's a big turn. It's a big turn. Big turn. Mm. This one time, a woman came to my office. Said, Brian, I have a problem. My woman, my man doesn't go. Or we know, mm -hmm. but she had come for uh, waxing. Right, right. They come right. for waxing. Mm -hmm. The lady in my office said, Brian, when she removed her places to go off for waxing, I felt a stench. I, I smelled something. Mm. Something. I was like, hey, wait a minute. You want someone's do son to go to a wino with that kind of stench. So that's a t I mean, prepare yourself in such a way that if you want someone to do something for you, create comfort. Lay a ground that is comfortable. And speaking about comfort, I think men have. You go to the washrooms to do your business and you don't wash the mister. And some of you are not circumcised. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now, if you're a man and you're not circumcised and you you're go to ease yourself. And the thing is, you ease yourself and you don't clean up. And when the woman comes, you just want to grab her. And you put all of all those infections in her. Oh, Be right. mindful a of yourself. Wash yourself. It, before. I can understand that this one of sweats, rough. Maybe you are at a club and uh -huh. things just happen. But let me know that the order of that it's a turn off. It all, it all comes back to one place, hygiene. Mm. One thing that as I finalize with my turn off, a woman who has hair that has growth around here, like this, mm. I know you've probably kept it for long and it has some dandruff with mm. hair, with creams and mm. all of it. Looks very ugly for so many men. Mm. So if you're going to do stuff, make sure you are always washing your hair properly. But you that know, you for a woman, you can wash, but still the white stuff is, is, is going to show. Well because of the, 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 kind, oil of, the kind of oil you're using. Yeah, so let, let's pay attention to those using. things. I mean, mm. everyone has a turn off, but the thing is, whatever is a turn off for you, communicate it to your partner. Uh -huh, I don't like this. There's, this is one time my, my my, my woman used to have a lipstick and it would crack. I was like, I don't like looking at cracked. <laughs> I don't like looking at cracked like lipstick. Women, <laughs> not, not, no, lucky. Women <laughs> should invest in lipstick. In lipstick. Exactly. The good, because the good there's one. There's good lipstick that, I mean, lucky. There's, 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 there's good lipstick, but after a while, I think sometimes it's how long you have worn it. Whether Maybe. you're wearing the brand so mark, be it will still, you know, sometimes exactly. you need to clean up Pay attention. Pay, Pay attention, attention to those to details. details. But then again, if you're going to do the business, why are you even wearing lipstick? I don't like to have I lipstick. Know. Oh, wherever. Well, you, know, you, know, you know, you know, no, that's why you have to for men. That's why you find men, they're not going to kiss you. Wash it off. Uh, it, you, you, honestly, I don't like to kiss yeah. a man. I need, like, I need to go raw. I need to go raw. I feel like he's going to eat organic. The the, the, but, the, but also, men, men help us. Women complain. A man who has cracked lips, very dry and lippy, doesn't look good. So. Do something about uh, I know it. they want to think that it's rough. And, and and what's wrong with you? They never oil. Never oil them. Ashy, ashy you skin. You are in, from the legs. Some men. It's key for you to understand that uh, some many, uh, so many men are very busy thinking. As if you take care of yourself, you're becoming gay. I mean, yeah. one one guy found me doing nails, mm. doing nails, and he's no, like, like, "What's your problem?" The guy's like, mm. "On a list straight." Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, men need to oil it because you, 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 you undress a guy and mm -hmm. from the shoe you know, up, white. the guy is all <laughs> scaly and, and you're thinking, really, have you ever thought there's a pomade that you can use, there's a lotion uh -huh. you can use to just oil your skin and look good? And it's not white, it's actually ashy. Yeah. 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 Ashy, yeah. like a skin. Like, and, and then, then he, he itches. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay, cut it short. Everyone has a turn off, but the most important bit is let's come to a common ground as we better our relationships. Communicate what you want yeah, to be turned off. No, but also another turn off is you not talking to me the whole day and then in the evening you want some. You want some. Oh, oh. Hallelujah. Turn off. On that I tell note. you, you know what? No. I was busy. <laughs> I know this can go on and on and on. Perhaps we shall have a part two. That's all we had for you on Kachai with Lucky. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kachai with Lucky, and be part of God bless you.